I want to take a moment here to defend myself as a neighbor because the characterization of Kramer as a neighbor would be a guy who's always barging into your house at inopportune moments to grub stuff. Is that a fair characterization? Okay, in real life, it was nothing like that. First of all, there was no barging in because we left our doors open, okay? And, and you know what? I'm going to let Larry explain what it was like. The doors, just like on the Seinfeld show, were always open, and we'd go and to each other's apartments all the time. There was always a lot of action in his house. Things were, there's nothing going on in my apartment. It was just me, but generally in his house, there was always company, there was always people walking in and out, women, things were, things were going on there. He had, he, he had a good stash of desserts and ice cream and stuff, and, and uh, I would go, he was, of course he would try and come in and get food for me, but there was nothing in my refrigerator. Larry is the kind of guy that, God forbid, anyone should ever think he's taking advantage of them. So because of this, Larry insisted that he had to pay for every morsel of food he ever ate in my house, okay? I would say, Larry, I'm thrilled that I could feed my friends. Please, I don't need your money. Crane, you've got to let me pay for what I eat, because otherwise I'm not going to feel comfortable coming here and taking anything. So please, I said, okay, look, do what you got to do. So here's what he did. He would keep this index card on my refrigerator. And every time he took something to eat, no matter how minuscule it was, he had to estimate its value and mark it down on this index card, okay? And he'd have this little nickel and dime list on my refrigerator, you know, and every time, like, the list got all filled up, I'd walk in one day, they'd be like $17 on the counter and a blank index card on the refrigerator. This went on for five and a half years, okay? <laughs> now, when the show goes on the air, Larry calls me up and asks me some suggestions of things that happened that, you know, might make good stories. So I told him a couple of ideas, including that list that you used to keep on the refrigerator door. Well, he's got a mind that's a vault, because I never mentioned it again. Seven seasons later, I'd look at Seinfeld, and sure enough, Kramer is keeping a list at Jerry's house. <laughs> Everything he eats, he's going to pay for. Jerry, I left you the money there. I put it on the list. I just took a half a can of Coke. <laughs> Jerry says, there's no half a can of Coke. If you want the Coke, you own the whole can. That's how Coke works. <laughs>